Yo, what is going on guys? And today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this really cool trails plugin called Bliv Trails. And with the help of two other plugins in the description, along with the Bliv Trails, we can create the trails to have an item in the hotbar. And when we right click on that, then that will open up the GUI with all the trails. So by itself, it's just a trail plugin with a GUI. So it's really cool and we can type slash trail to open up the GUI. And uh, yeah, so like I said, download this plugin and the two other plugins if you want to have it in your hotbar to as when you right click on the item then it'll open up this but uh yeah so pretty cool stuff this is a lot of cool stuff actually and uh it has options you can change how big you want the trails to be so i'm gonna go with lava and so as you can see lava trail and it's not as cool as i thought it'd be let's do the snowball so there we go that's a little bit cooler and we type slash trail and options and now we can change the type to whatever we want dynamic well this trail can't be dynamic but we can change it to random and go back and we can change the length so I'm gonna make mine really long that's how I like my trails and then the height I'm gonna make it waist so instead of being at my feet it'll be at the well let's go with halo so it's so long that I can't really tell but I'm gonna just gonna change it back to my feet there we go so as you can see, it's a lot longer than it was before, and yeah, so it makes me look like i pretty important person with this trail on, so pretty good for VIP or down here players. So yeah, that is that is basically it for, oh, I just like the same trail. Um, let's go, yeah, green sparkle. Ooh, wow. All right, so now to actually make this an item that you can use in your hub, so like you right click on it, then it'll open up the GUI. We're going to have to use the two other plugins in the description. So like I said, make sure you download that. And then what you want to do is you want to find an item that you want to use to represent the trails. So I, I already know, well, I don't know if I know where to find it, but I know what I'm going to use. There we go. I'm going to use the emerald. So we can type slash I to CMD add, and then the command is trail without the slash and hit enter. And also make sure that you had your item in your hand. And there we go. So now when you right click it, bam. It's now a hub item that your players can just easily right click on. So pretty cool right there. And actually have it in there to where your players can like throw it around and change it from where you want it to be. We're gonna use the slot lock plugin, which will basically lock it in place in what slot it's in. So type slash SL lock hand and make sure that you have the item in your hand. And then whichever number slot that you wanted to put in so it starts with zero one two three and then yeah you get the gist and then just hit enter and there we go so so as an op i can actually move it around but other players won't be able to so that is that pretty sick hopefully you guys did enjoy the mix of plugins that i included in this and if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe for more plugin tutorials and i will see you guys next time peace out